Glory to God. This is Bishop Miller. I'm coming to you with a, another sermon tip. One of the things that I get a comment or reflection from my listening audience, and especially after the uh, uh, preaching moment of service, people will always come to me and say, Bishop, your sermon spoke directly to my heart. And I find that people through the week take the sermon title and they rehearse it over and over again um, as a chant, if you will, as a mantra to keep the word uh, of the Lord before them. They might have forgotten all the, uh, the, the richness or the depth of the sermon. But I've learned, here's my sermon tip, I have a call to action in the sermon title that becomes a mantra or, or something, a repetitive chorus, a repetitive uh, line, if you will, that is rehearsed over and over and over again and hammers the word of the Lord and the action to take in your heart. So um, I pray uh, for that sermon title, and usually the sermon title is lifted up from the verb action or the action within the scripture that I'm preaching. So let's look at one of my favorite um, sermon titles, Let Her Drive. Uh, and um, after I preach this, um, uh, you'll see people throughout the church and throughout the week and walking uh, to and fro from the halls and uh, along my way around town, you know, say, Bishop, let her drive. Or you say to your neighbor, uh, let her drive. And I found a lot of times that when I preach, I always say up front, look, in case you fall asleep on me, the word of the Lord today is let her drive. So let's look. I'm, uh, this scripture is a, a famous, the shipwreck, Paul's shipwreck story. And um, one of uh, my, my favorite, favorite, favorite sermon titles is found in Acts the 27th chapter and um, uh, we're going to read and when it was determined Acts the 27th chapter and when it was determined that we should sail to Italy they delivered Paul and certain other prisoners unto one named Julius a centurion of Augustus the scriptures let's go down to verse 14 and 15 of the 27th chapter of Acts and this is exactly now where the boat is going to begin to toss to and fro um, the boat is out of control, and we're looking for a sermon topic. And the, con the content of the sermon or the word or what I'm encouraging in this, my sermon title, Let Her Drive, is sometimes situations get out of control. But if you be in the will of the Lord and God is sovereign, you just let things flow and let things go. So in my sermon, I'm trying to encourage um, that when you can't control a situation and you've done all that you can do, then take your hands over, let go, let your hands go, let go and let God and let her drive. Now look, in verses 14 and 15, the 27th chapter of Acts, it reads but, this way. Not long after there arose against it a tempestuous wind called the Eurachlodon. And when the ship was caught, here comes the shipwreck, and could not bear up into the wind, we let her drive. So what you want to do is the Lord showed me, take the back side, the action portion of the scripture. We let her drive. And there pick up your sermon title. Let her drive. When life is out of control, when your ship looks like it's a shipwreck and it's caught up and cannot bear the wind anymore and you've done all that you can do. Let go and let God and let her drive. And then you take that refrain and chant it throughout your different points. And you say, neighbor, let her drive. Say, neighbor to your right, say, let her drive. Neighbor, raise your hands. Glory, let her drive. And you keep resounding that title. So if they forget everything else they said in a 15, 20, 30 minute sermon, they're going to remember the action portion of your scripture that you used to preach from. And when the ship was caught and could not bear up into the wind, we let her drive. My thought for us today is let her drive. That's how you come up with an, an impactful sermon title that will resound in the heart and call to action your audience to listen and to remember. They might not forget, they might not remember anything else you've said, but they will remember the refrain. That's the word of the Lord. Let her drive. So even today in my Bible tip, is your life out of control? Is your boat uh, in a windstorm that you can't bear up under and you, the, uh, you're out of control and you're not able to uh, make this thing go the way that you want it to go? Guess what? Go with the flow. Let go and let God and let her drive. That's your sermon tip. That's how you come up with your sermon title. Find that action portion of the script. 
uh, the scripture that you're preaching from, lift it up and let her drop. Hey, this is Bishop C.D. Miller, Bishop C.D. Miller Ministries, www.bishopcdmiller.com. Uh, you're a user here at YouTube. And um, I want to thank you so much for writing me and letting me know that you're enjoying our videos. And that's our sermon tip for us today. Let her drive. And guess what? That's the word of the Lord for you today. Let her drive. Let go and let God. Thanks so much. And continue to fellowship with us here online. And this is a Bishop's sermon tip for you. Use it and preach a while.